in the on the table there over there by the lamp. No, no, no! Don't change the lights. Don't change the lights. <laughs> now my calibration is at least online, but I've already calibrated and I don't have time to do it. So, uh, so what we wanted to show, we just took this demo almost as is and added in, added in graphical user interface or a video user interface. So now when I move the sword around with my hand, you can see. It moves the sword on the screen, and we can uh, actually tilt it, get it going. Let me switch to this room here. In this room, I can actually interact with these bubbles by moving the sword. You can chop them, and then they pop, or you can just tap them, and then they move. So I'll just tap some of them. And then we have this other object. If I pick up this object, this is like a ball and a chain. And this shows kind of a physical simulation. You want to lower the lights a little bit. I don't know. Can you guys see? Okay. All right. So the thing is, we're really tracking this ball in 3D because we know its size in advance. So I can actually spin the ball in the third dimension. And if I get the thing going, the chain will really start to whip around like a, a 3D chain should. And, and that kind of is subtle but very important that we can do that, you know? If otherwise, if you just have 2D, it's always moving like this. So that third dimension really makes it feel like a, a flail, I imagine. <laughs> Never really used a flail. <laughs> but, and uh, the other neat thing is, we kind of showed with this demo, this is a rigid object, and that's like an articulated object. But it still feels neat in a good control interface to do it. So you don't always have to map literally to something object that's exactly what you have. You can map it to something that just makes sense. So, it's controllable. So now I can do them both at the same time. Really get going here. Then, let's go back to this room. Let's see if I can do all three of them. And you can actually light that candle with the torch. And you see when I move the torch, it casts shadows. On the fill, you know. So this, is, this was showing that we already had this demo, already created a show, a real game like graphics. And we slapped all this stuff over the top of that and still made it run real time. When we did this demo originally, it was 30 frames per second. And when people try it, they feel the lag a little bit too much. They feel it. They go, it's really precise, but it just has a little too much lag. Well, when we got the 60 hertz camera, it feels so much better. So it's a huge difference from the 30 hertz to the 60 hertz for that kind of stuff. So uh, switch back to the talk, please.